Trump's son-in-law viciously attacked after sick claim comes out about what he's involved in, the left has been foaming at the mouth ever since Donald Trump was elected president. These rabid leftists have been searching for anything to impeach Trump and to further divide the nation. That is perfectly exemplified by how the liberals have been pushing the Russian collusion narrative. Everyone with a functioning brain cell knows that there is nothing to this allegation, but the left just won't let it go. So, it comes as no real shock when liberal moonbats insist that the Trump family is in bed with the Russians. However, what one MSNBC analyst just alleged proves just how unhinged the left has truly become. Earlier this week an MSNBC analyst, Naveed Jamali lost his mind on live television that even the host, Stephanie Rule, was taken aback. Jamali claimed that President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner is, in fact, a Russian agent. Oh, but that is not all everyone. Jamali then went on a crazy tirade that not only was Kushner a Russian agent, but so was Michael Flynn. This was so shocking that even the other guests on the show had looks of shock on their faces. Here is more on this insane meltdown from U.S. Herald, Stephanie Rule welcomed Naveed Jamali, a professional analyst, to comment on the current anonymous allegations made against the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, suggesting that he had improper contacts with the Russian government. Instead of a calm, reasoned analysis, Jamali launched into a shocking diatribe that went beyond unfounded allegations, instead declaring that Kushner is a spy for the Russian government, or at minimum a wannabe spy. You look for patterns and this is a clear pattern emerging. It's a pattern that shows a consistent effort to deceive. And when you have that, there's only one conclusion you can draw, again from an intelligence standpoint that this man was either a Russian agent, either aspiring to be a Russian agent or was, in fact, a Russian agent. The charge was so shocking, even that host Stephanie Rule interrupted. Hold on, this man being Jared Kushner? You really think he was to be a Russian agent? Why would he be a Russian agent? That's a major allegation. I mean that's kind of a stretch. Undeterred, Jamal went on, all the way to the use of the T-word suggesting that Kushner had committed treason. That's right, taking unsubstantiated allegations made by anonymous sources leaking to liberal news sources in an effort to discredit the president all the way to the specific charge of treason. People may not even be aware they are going down that path, this is how it happens, an innocent decision to try to make contact with them and that's how you start these things, Rule again interrupted, but this time seemed to express a sense that she was finally getting it, ah, the segment ended with Jamal stating that Kushner had probably, started a relationship that was frankly inappropriate that skirted the law and then it made a hard left turn. Man. This guy seriously needs to be seen by a doctor for sorts of delusions he is having. It is obvious that the journalists on CNN and MSNBC have been working overtime to stir the pot of division. They all get on live television and spout off insane theories in the hopes that one will be true. There has been no evidence that Kushner has sought to advance the interests of the Russian government by attempting to open a back channel to the Kremlin. Not only that but there has been no evidence that President Trump has any ties to the Russians. This is a witch hunt by the left and the mainstream media in order to push President Trump out. It is becoming tiresome to hear these leftist idiots spout off these lies without any proof. In my opinion, they should be held accountable for spreading these lies without any concrete evidence. The media just claims that unknown sources are leaking this information, but that seems quite convenient. Anyone can say that Trump or Kushner is in bed with the Russians and their only proof is an unknown source. I don't think so libtards. Share if you are sick of these sick liberal attacks on Trump's family. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.